This video is a response to the Pit Online Dojo. Dan the Wolfman here, catchjutsu.com, thecombatsystem.com. Check out my website, Slice or Stab. Slice or Stab, John Hackleman, what do you think you know? I mean, you, you think you, you, you taught somebody, like Chuck Liddell, it can knock people out with a left hook and an overhand right. You think you can talk about fighting because you know a little thing about developing power and I see girls on your page that are hitting with more power of the bag than guys twice their size but you're telling people to slice number one it's slash it's slash it's not slice unless you're slicing some pepperonis or you carry a straight razor and you're real old school all right otherwise it's slash and in slash or stab it's stab every time, baby. Us old guys got to start teaching these young guys that just want to do sport, jujitsu, and barren bolos, and play double sleeve, uh, banana splits, donkey, upside down spider guards. We got to teach people what it's really like on the streets. I mean, I guess you think you know because you grew up on the hard streets of Hawaii defending your surf turf. But, slash, slice. No, 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 no. Slice, it depends. It depends on range, and it depends on the tools you have. And you got that nice little fancy looking curved little folding knife I see you always carry in your gi. And that might be okay for like dangling from an earring like people like to do in California. Number one, if you live in a real state, if you decided after seven years of acting to get out of LA, if you want to get out of California, if you win, want to get out of Kami Fornication, you can go live in a real estate that has shell issue. So number one is the big blaster over here. This is my everyday carry. You got the big blaster, some kind of big blaster with a big battery pack and a couple extra battery packs for your blaster. And if that doesn't work, where guys eyeballing you like I had four thug looking guys eyeballing me today like they were going to rob over a pizza joint I was in. Well, you can't just brandish and grab that, so that's what the little one in the other pocket's for. Okay? So you got to have a little blaster too. Now, if you can't get to the big blaster or the little blaster, then you need your knife. Okay, and I got a couple on me. I usually only carry one. One's kind of delegated to special events or working security and whatnot. But I like to have two blasters and one knife. That's what I recommend. Have a, have a deadly weapon available to each hand. That's a wolfman tip right there. Anyway, you got your knife here with the wave feature. CQC 7K. Opens on the draw. Opens on your jeans, on your pants, on the draw. Okay. The original Emerson version of this and bigger versions has probably dropped a tango or two around the world. See that tanto point? What's that for? That's for stabbing. For stabbing, because stabbing is what kills. Yeah, you've looked at bad wounds looking as, as a nurse, John Hackleman. Uh, and if you already have a knife out like your Errol Flynn and you're going to get in a knife duel, sure, slashing the incoming arm is what you want to do. You want to defend that snake. You want to hit that bronchial artery and have the guy spurting all over the place. Of course, but usually when you deploy a knife, it's CQB up and personal. So it's either very close or it is very far. Very far knife dueling is bad. One guy goes, dies on scene, one guy dies at the hospital usually. But that's not why you carry it. You carry it to retain and get back to your blaster. Or if it's a last ditch and the guy's mounted on you, pounding your face into the pavement. And you're an older guy. So, a way you feature knife that can draw on the pocket is a good thing to do. So you could cover here and here. Now I'm not against stabbing because see we're in CQB so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you see I'm stabbing at an upward angle, not in those intestines like you talked about, an upward angle up here trying to get to some goodies. Now I slash that artery, slash that artery and stab into the neck notch right into that trachea. Okay so yes of course slashes the neck work once those um, uh, targets opportunity to become available but you know you don't want to be out here slashing here and here and all these big wide motions no you're probably going to be in close and you swing machine that effort and then you slash in the neck so I like one two three with four pressure five six here okay depends on the tool 
Depends on the tool, depends on the range. All that mid-range fancy Kali defanging stuff doesn't work. Just like in fighting like Wing Chun, I'm not hitting on Wing Chun, but it's the easiest distance to crash into. You're going to clinch. Boxers clinch all the time. They're not supposed to. So you can crash through that. So you're either outside with stick and knives or you're inside up close and personal. Besides that, occasionally, just like a lot of security and law enforcement officers, I got the TDI. The TDI is when someone's going for my blaster and I need to draw this and now I do a snap cut to his femoral artery. So if I get into that muscle, it's gonna work good if I get in the inside. So I not only, it's combination, so this one's a combination slice and snap. I do a snap cut down there, pump two in there and then one underneath the chin. Okay, right under there. So I'm sure that he's not going to be liking it. So slashes are important they're important to set up your stabs. If you can get a slash on a target, okay, on the neck, if you can get brachial artery, if you can get femoral artery, then you're good to go. But in general, your slashes, your slices, pit master, are to get to the good stuff. And the good stuff, which does the deed, are stabs. And people know that. That's what guys use shanks in prison. They just come in and sewing machine really fast. Da -da 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 -da. And he got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stabs in to a guy before he can even defend. So yes, uh, making the guy see his blood squirt from his face and stuff is gonna help deter a non-determined attacker, maybe get him to freak out. But Mr. Hackman, sorry, but catch jitsu goes little get against pit jitsu and i'm saying it's stab so guys out there let me know what you think is it stab or is it slash or slice the slices or stat slashes in my opinion are only defensively against the arm grabbing at your gun or around your neck and that or to set up like a like the jab sets up the cross the slash if it gets great that's perfect but it's to set up the stab that kills like your cross so the jab's going to set it up so that's my opinion i'm dan the wolfman for the combat system.com check out what pitmaster had to say at pitmaster uh, online dojo or the pit online dojo i think it is and um anyway guys signing out